Hi guys, welcome to the video. I just wanted to take a few seconds of your time to introduce Hantech Minis, a new video format that I decided to come up with to help those who are really short on time. They just want to get in, find the information they need, learn, and get right back to their workflow. Really what I've done is I've carved out sections of our long masterclass videos and consolidated them into small little blocks of five or 10 minutes each. And the idea is they cover one topic and they allow you to learn that topic with practical examples and then get right back to your workflow. So let me go ahead and show you how to locate these videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Han Tech. Okay, all one word, at Han Tech. And then if you want to go ahead and look at the playlists, you go ahead and scroll down here and you see playlists right there, okay? So I'm gonna tap that with the playlist and that's gonna open up our playlist, okay? So you can see all of the playlists that we already have loaded here on the YouTube channel. And these are the minis, everything that begins with the HT minis. Right now I've got three playlists set up and let's go ahead and take a look at this one that is actually completed. And what you can do then is you can hit play all and you can watch them in a series or you can pick a specific one and just watch the one that you need to watch that covers the topic you're trying to learn at the time. So now let me show you how to also navigate to our website and find these videos on our website. So here we are at han-tech.com and what you do is you go to free video tutorials and you select thinkorswim tutorials. And from there, you go ahead and locate the menu at the left-hand menu right here. That's called uh, TOS Minis. It stands for Thinkorswim. So you go ahead and open that up. And if you expand that, you'll see as new videos are added to the Hantech Minis, they'll be added here and they will all appear here. So that's how you navigate from our website or from our YouTube channel. And I want to thank you so much for your support. And I'm really excited to be able to present this new shortened video format so that you can get what you need and get right back to work. Okay, so let's dive right in. And just a quick heads up before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that we are starting from the point of having the condition already built. And this was constructed in a previous video. And so I'm going to point you to that other video in case you have skipped it or you're not familiar with how to use the condition wizard, you can see here we've got a condition consisting of four different elements. They were created with nothing more than clicking the mouse. You didn't have to write any of this code at all. And I'll point you to the video which shows you exactly how to set this up so that when you get back to this video, you can continue on and follow along in this example and learn how to apply it to the other tools on Thinkorswim. And you'll find that video here on our YouTube channel. So this is the Hantech YouTube channel, and if you go to Playlists, then you go ahead and navigate to the Condition Wizard right here. So go ahead and click View Full Playlist. And right now we've only got one video loaded, but this is the original video in the series, and this is the one that you would want to watch before viewing any of the others in this series so that you understand how to set up that condition. But by all means, if you already know how to work the Condition Wizard and you can build that condition with the four different elements as I demonstrated in, in the first screenshot, then you don't need to watch the other video. You can just continue on and follow along with the examples here. And you can see the spike at the very far right of the chart. And you can see that, yes, indeed, it is the third close above the simple moving average. Now, let's say you wanted to see this in a watch list. Let's open up a watch list. I'm going to detach this. We'll move that out of the view for a little bit here. I'm going to close that. And then we'll go ahead and notice there's a link here. The symbol link is set to 9, so anything you select here is going to be selected on the chart. And we can go ahead and go to pinning stocks. We're going to update that to a different watch list. We can customize now and we're going to select from this drop down box custom quotes. There's all my available custom quotes and I go ahead and double click that one and I, so I added custom 04 as a column to this watch list. I'm going to click now the little script icon and you can see now I've got a bunch of code here and none of it's compatible with the condition wizard. So I'm going to select all of this code and press delete on my keyboard. Then I'm going to right click 
And remember, we still have this on the clipboard because we copied it from the study alert where we built it. Then we pasted it into a scan. We pasted it into a chart study. Now I'm going to paste it into a custom watch list. Now I'll hit apply and OK. And then we'll click, click OK. So it looks like nothing here in the watch list has a value of true for any of these symbols. So let's go ahead and add CVS. Oops, and that's still a zero, so I think I know what's going on here. Let me right click on that custom column, edit formula, and sure enough, I have to update the aggregation period. It's set to two hour, and I need to make sure that it matches what the scan is using and what the chart is using. So I've changed it to daily now. I'm going to hit apply and OK, and sure enough, now CVS turns into a one, so you've got a one there. Let's see if any of these others nope that's the only one yeah so that's the way it would work in a watch list you have your list of stocks in here and you have a one for true a zero for false now if you wanted to change the background color that's another video or certainly you fi can find many examples in our q a forum so go ahead and post there if you need some more details there's one more thing here let's go ahead and close the uh, watch list gadget and let's go to the trade tab and let's pretend like we're going to buy some shares and the market's closed. I don't have to worry about it right now. In other words, I don't have to worry about accidentally entering an order. So let's say we're going to buy CVS and we're going to put a condition on this. Now we've got a whole video that covers conditional orders. And what I wanted to show you now, remember, we're pretending like we're going to buy CVS. I'm going to show you now the other place that you can use the code that you generate in a condition wizard and that is right here uh, this little gear icon in the far right hand corner of, of your order and you can go ahead and click that icon then this is a little difficult so I'm just going to kind of walk through this really quickly I'm going to base this on a study and I'm going to select edit and we'll go ahead and change this to daily and we'll get rid of all of this stuff right here and we right click and select paste and now we've got our conditions and notice it looks very much like the study alert so if you work with a study alert remember that was in the market watch tab under the alert section and you practice there then you can go and set up an order and place a condition on that order that will trigger only if the condition is true all right again if you want details on this don't post a comment on this video go watch the other video <laughs> the other video it covers it in great detail and you'll get the full coverage